Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, beautiful, good Monday morning to you. I pray that all is well with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. I say all the time, it is indeed a choice to rejoice. So I want to thank you so much for connecting with me on today. Wanted to jump on really quickly just to remind you that this is the day of victory. We woke up this morning, we were clothed in our right mind. And we say all the time that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. So we're dwelling in this earth, we're, we're dwelling in the presence of the Lord. And with that being said, I want you to declare, uh, take ownership of this being your day of victory. Um, let it be settled in heaven and earth that we are more than conquerors. We are more than overcomers through Jesus Christ that loves us. And so um, I, I, we're getting ready to, to run, um, well, run, to go to Duke uh, for an annual checkup. But we just declare before we get there that all is well. Um, not that we're worried or weary, but um, this is the victory that causes us to triumph. This is the victory that causes us uh, to maintain our faith um, in the Lord. Uh, I was just trying to pull that scripture up. Um, let, let me just do this. Let me pull the scripture up because this is what. Give me one moment here. And, and that's what I just really, really feel in my heart and my spirit today. Um, yes, here it is right here. <laughs> I just thank the Lord for just dropping that in my spirit and my heart on today. Uh, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians um, chapter 2, uh, verse 14. This is a passage that I used to sign uh, on the radio station um, because this is what the Lord gave me. So 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 says, Now thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ, who make maketh manifest through us the Savior of his knowledge in whatever we place, in every place he causes us to triumph. So I want to remind you today, today is your day of victory. Today is your day to triumph in Christ because he manifests his glory in our lives, in every area of our lives. Take ownership of the word of God. Whenever the Lord speaks to you out of the abundance of his word, take ownership of that word. Let it be settled in heaven and earth that the Lord has spoken well of me. Uh, I declare his, his word to be strong and mighty in our lives. And whatever the Lord says, that's what I walk in. Whatever the Lord says, that's what I believe. Whatever the Lord says, that is what I hope in. My hope is built on Christ and his righteousness. Um, it is in him I live, I move, I have my being. I stand uh, on his word because his word is unfailing. His word is uncompromisable. His word is the word that brings truth. It brings correction. It brings victory in every area of my life. And I hear that word triumph, a time of celebration, a time where the horn of, uh, of the oil is being poured and blown to say that we are triumphant in Christ. You know, when they, they blow the shafar, it's an announcement um, that something is happening. It's an announcement, a declaration that something has taken place in our lives. So yes, Thanks be unto God. He causes us. He makes us. Uh, he compels us uh, to triumph in that place of victory. Man, I tell you, that feels good to me on today. I want you to take ownership of your victory. Come on. It's settled in heaven and earth. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. And yes, we shall be glad in it. Well, you already know I am Apostle Esther. I'm making that de declaration loud and clear on today. Even before we get to where we're going, we release the proceeding word of Christ and we know that all is well because his word says, now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and who maketh manifest through us the savor of his knowledge in every place. 
Take ownership of that word on today. You have the victory. I want you to, as always, have an amazing day. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you that this is a time of celebration. This is a time of triumph in the kingdom of the Most High God. This is the time, oh God, that you are revealing your glory in every place, in every area of our lives. So, Father, we take dominion, authority, and power over every situation, and we stand firm, strong, and confident in the victory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, if there is a person that is listening under the sound of my voice that is not saved, that is in a backslidden state, I ask that you forgive them, that you wash them in, in your blood, Fill them with your love. Give them a heart, a mind, a will, and a desire to change and to serve you all the days of their lives, that they can walk in this place of triumph, that they can walk in this place of victory. Now, Lord, I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, it is acceptable in thy sight. Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. I thank you for all that you're doing in me and Apostle Chris's life. I thank you that you're getting the glory and we celebrate you for writing our story. In Jesus' matchless name, amen and amen. Well, you already know I'm an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm simply an ambassador of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Have a super amazing day. Know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity so that you can follow us on all of our social media platforms and you will be well informed of all of our up and upcoming events. Have a super amazing day. We'll be back on tomorrow with more good news gospel. I'm Apostle Esther. You make it a great day. God bless you.